Okay, it's uh, project time again. All right, let's take a look at the pool, see what we're up against here. It's a 18 foot wide, whatever deep pool. It's a, it's a lot of water. <clears throat> I've done my homework. I watched a lot of DIY videos on making pool heaters. I've seen some good ideas. I'll be using some of those. I've seen some bad ideas too. I'll probably use some of those. My water heater is gonna be more of a white trash Frankenstein looking contraption, but I hope it achieves one thing I haven't seen done yet. Primarily the most popular method I've seen used is using a coil of conduit, uh, copper or stainless steel, and you put that in a barrel and heat it up. And it certainly does heat up water, but it's a small amount of water. When the ambient air temperature gets down, I could see that robbing heat quicker than you could generate it. Uh, what I hope to achieve here is to heat a large volume of water very quickly and do it for cheaply And I got some really simple stupid ideas and uh, Let's get started and see if this works Into the end zone for a touchdown. All right first thing you're gonna need of course The most important part is just a barrel Do your best not to go out and buy one. I got this one for free it doesn't have to look nice because it's gonna get burnt anyways Okay, I'm gonna make a quick stand for it just to get it off the ground. I'm just gonna use some old wood for that. I'm gonna reuse a few old nails here. I got no shame in that. Those will work. You want me to put her in my lap? She oh, looks no. like she's on a she's getting tortured. <laughs> here. Come here, Ash. It's okay, you can trust me. You gotta right. kinda spread her out. Okay. Her tail. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay, enough talk. Let's fire it up. All right, I was out pretty late last night. Freaking heater did pretty good. But even then, it was taking a while to heat this pool up. So I did the math today, it's an 8,000 gallon pool. This pumps at 35 gallons a minute, and I was picking up about 18 degrees, which I thought was pretty impressive at 35 gallons a minute. But doing the math, it's gonna take eight hours to get this pool to 90 degrees. So I'm gonna try a couple other things here. I'm not done yet. So let's make this quick. What I've done here was initially I just had 35 gallons a minute coming through here, going through there a couple times, coming up for a reheating, going in the pool. It just wasn't enough energy when your pool is 50 degrees. So now I got this excellent idea from a gentleman on YouTube. He made this diverter valve and a little bit different parts, but same concept. And so I diverted it off about nine to 10 gallons a minute, run it through the hose here, around this coil, picking up a few degrees, dumping it into the reservoir, mix it in with the other stuff, throwing it in there. The biggest change I made though, I know as bad as it looks, I got this piece of aluminum off of an old camper here. I put the skirt on there to hold some of the heat under there a little bit longer, but I got this added effect where the heat trickles up between this and it heats up the side here. And I picked up probably about seven to eight degrees from that when I put that on there. So let's take a look and see how good it's doing. 
Okay, so let's take a look and see how good this thing's working. So, right now, the pool temperature, I know this is pretty dirty right now. I'm gonna clean this out, it's fall. I'm buying a better pool cover. But uh, move this around, just to make sure we can see that there. And it's 58.4 degrees. What's coming out of here, 58. I wanna make sure we get a good look at this. 58 to 84. So that's about 26 degrees ish, doing that in my head. 26 degrees, it takes, you know, let's just shave off six degrees because of the cooler temperatures right now. Murph, how's it going? Let's shave off six degrees. So let's just say 20 degrees. It takes four hours to cycle through this pool. 20 degrees, so in eight hours, I can pump 40 degrees into this pool. 60 degrees in the fall, it's gonna take me eight hours to get this pool up to 100 degrees. Challenge accepted. Okay, it's a pretty chilly early morning. You can tell it's cold by the way it feels. And also, that's not a pretty good clear right there. It is fall. Not but yesterday morning, there was a snow line on those mountains up there and everything's frosted. This pool is a frigid 52 degrees right now, which makes sense because it has been getting cold overnight. Um, <clears throat> I think this is probably gonna take most of the day to do this, and I'm not sure if I can get this thing up past 80 degrees, but I'll give it my best shot. All right, I got up pretty early this morning to fire this bad boy up. It's been blazing away for a little over eight hours. Um, I've put a lot of wood in this thing. But nonetheless, it worked pretty good. It is possible to heat up. 8,000 gallons of water and it's very noticeably warmer. Let's take the temperature and see what it's at right now. All right, let's check the uh, pool temperature. Remember, I started out at 51 or 52 degrees and we're sitting at 69, 91, 96, 97, 98. Oh, come on. Nice. Uh, all right, I'll take that. Do, 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 